The Biden administration still has no clear answer on blocking the media from the border facilities, as these images from Congressman Henry Cuellar show overcrowding at a facility. Our next guest was responsible for dealing with the media requests during the Trump administration. Former Assistant Secretary for Public Affairs at the DHS, Alexei Wolterness, joins me now. Welcome. Um, so you say where there's smoke, there's fire. You think there's a cover-up. Um, tell us about it. What are they covering up? Yeah, well, when there's a situation like this, usually the truth sets you free. Uh, and the fact that there's this media gag order tells everyone, the American public and the media themselves, that the fact on the ground is likely much worse than any of us know. And that's the only reason they're covering it up and they want media nowhere near any of these facilities. What do you suspect the conditions are like based on the photos that you're seeing here um, that you believe this is much more widespread? Uh, both in uh, magnitude, but how widespread it is. So likely it's worse. So if uh, there's a member of Congress invited to a facility, they're only being invited to the facility that is, has the best conditions, that is least likely to have a, any type of political risk. Right? So if you're, you get an invitation from uh, Congress, uh, you're going to take them to the one that uh, there's right. going to, everything's going to be in order. So if you're a member of Congress, uh, you know, make sure you kind of break out of this Potemkin village. Uh, talk to the people that they're not inviting you to talk to to get real first-hand testimony. Right. So yesterday, um, Will interviewed Julio Rosas, an independent um, reporter who was going with a, with a congressional delegation, and they allowed the congressional delegation in, and then they cited COVID as the reason they wouldn't let Julio in, who's a reporter. Here's what Alejandro Mayorkas had to say, blaming um, COVID on, on lack of access. Let's not forget that we're in the midst uh, of a pandemic, and we are focused uh, on our operations, executing our operations in a crowded Border Patrol facility uh, where uh, hundreds of vulnerable migrant children are located, number one. And number two, we're working on providing footage so that the American public can see uh, the Border Patrol stations. That goes to what you just said. They're working on providing footage, probably the best footage they can possibly find. Um, how far up the chain do you think this order to block the media um, comes from? Yeah, at a minimum, it comes from Secretary Mayorkas himself. Uh, I think that this is a matter that Congress should investigate and find out what information he has that he's not sharing and also explain why he's making this decision. Uh, and it can even go as high as President Biden himself. Right, so I'll take you behind the scenes a little. In crises like this, you're getting regular briefings, uh, almost up to the minute numbers and policy analysis. And, and we really haven't been getting much information from the White House. And it just tells me that everything is much worse than any of us know. Yeah, it certainly doesn't smell right. Well, there's senators going this week, a big, a large group. We'll see if they can get to the bottom of this media blackout. Thanks for joining us. Very insightful information.